Hello everybody, welcome back to Evolve. We're going to be playing as the Boulder in this one. It's Rogue Valkala, Maggie and Blitz Markov. We have done all the new skins now and we're on Wraith Trap, so we are going to go back to Sandstone for this one, just to match the uh, aesthetics of the environment just a little bit. Um, we'll do move speed as always, and we'll get this one kicked off. They've actually got the ideal Markov for uh, Behemoth as well. Blitz Markov is just better than regular Markov. Um, and Markov's actually good into Behemoth because he can get a lot of damage out of his mines, so... We'll see, you know. See how it goes. Do have colonists? I go through the map mutator. So we can pick these up before the. Uh... Yeah, that's fine. Good, good, good. We actually get quite a bigger than average, I'd say. Um feed at the beginning though. That's a bit shit though. <laughs> I did want to get both of them in the uh, swipe there. These Rebus we need to be very careful here because we're spending a little bit too much time. Is that right? Small range, which we will take, because we've not got anything else at the moment. They are getting pretty close now, though. That's fine. It's going to be stage two ready. Uh, we're not going to do it here, though, because I'm right next to the corner. That being there is not ideal, because they're probably going to get that now. I don't really have time. Unless they come for them birds, that might actually be beneficial, to be honest. Yeah, they're going to come straight down there, so they're going to not know that the uh, sloth's there, so that's quite decent. Uh, whoa, no we won't, because that's a direct line of sight. Stupid. There we go. There yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Still a little bit under the weather. With a cold and all that kind of thing, so I just bailed me. Um, we'll do Fisher and Rock Wall for this. Oh, no. uh, I think that he did actually get the fucking damage buff, thinking about it. It's not. The most ideal situation, that's a fucking strike if ever I've seen one. Gonna get full armor and a decent amount of um, points into the meter here. Yeah. It's gonna hit the other wall, that I think. Yeah. Oh, we hit him with it, so. Get rid of that. Before I forget, you are the ideal target first. Give some privacy. There we go. Just so we can get rid of the uh, dome. Yeah, armor isn't entirely a safe zone when Carla exists because she's stripping it from us temporarily, which is what that sound and beam is. He's one of those hunters that actually can change the tide of a game if you ignore her. I think quite good at that. I don't want to capitalize on that down. Thinking about it, we do need to be very careful about the uh, HP situation with her on the team. Because as I say, armor's not uh, the safe zone it normally is, so we're going to get out. 
Ist doch gar nicht gut, ne? I think that might have been well, that's Daisy. Oh, Daisy took the teleporter. Okay. We are going to go for another one here before I uh, evolve. To the terrain. Daisy broke the wall. Maybe feed one in. Hmm. We saved. These are the two that I do want. I'm gonna swap a little bit though. I thought she peaked at the ideal time there, that's quite bad. I'm actually gonna leave all there because Calder exists, basically. That's literally the reason. Um, we've got a decent amount of strikes, so it's not, you know, it's not the end of the world. This is actually quite low for Behemoth, so the half HP. So we will grab the evolve. Do fish. I didn't actually max wall this time, did I? I just realised. Fine, you usually like to show off Max Wall because it's fucking huge. Um, that's always hilarious to see, <laughs> quite honestly. I've lost smell range now. Do you get ability cooldowns, which is also very good on Behemoth. Similar to Goliath, it's. Um, Allows him to do his abilities much faster, which means on this particular monster he does his um, combo uh, a lot quicker. Maybe scoop him. Yeah. He's got his shield, so he's kind of fucked it, but I've just noticed now that. Yeah. So, when I first downloaded this, this game is weird, mate, the way it fucking works in the background, though. Because he's got his normal roll back again. I've literally got this on video. Like when when you go uh, to the first Behemoth video I did. Yeah, that's that's the legacy of uh, Boulder. So it's much slower rather than clicking together. But I had the stage two version, which is the clicky one, on the first game I played of um, the Rice Fix, which is what this is. Or now it's back to normal again, it's fucking weird. She's gonna move there, isn't she? Yeah. That's not the best, yeah, I was just gonna say. Not quite gonna be DOT death either, because of uh, Val. The wrong one. I thought these two were just stood behind me sneaking in loads of damage. This is why we sit on top of Carla when she's down because she's got more lines. Over here because I want to listen to her. Oh shit, she's up. Okay. Uh, yeah, got enough. Okay. If you don't know the relevance, basically, there's a monster that actually is alive inside of Carla because she injected herself with monster DNA, you know, for science. 
Because it's always a wise thing to do. Um, we're actually going to get out because I've got no armor. The team's coming back as well. Um, in this particular universe and this particular adversary you're against, where its DNA is actually the living creature itself, so when you inject it into something, it literally fucking hijacks whatever it's inside. <laughs> um, it's probably not the best idea to do it into the human body, you know, because it's not going to be able to fucking defend itself. Uh, but, you know, it's that's what she does in desperate times, and that's where she becomes what would have been the final boss of this game. Because they were actually, at the time the game was shut down, they were working on a solo play. Uh, variant of this game, a, a mode where you could play it as a co-op kind of thing, and that's the way they were going with it. Um, you did get to play the first uh, mission of it as well uh, in stage two, very briefly in a beta mode version of it, um, where you you know you go through uh, this map actually, but it's a, it's a slightly uh, edited version of this map, and you uh, kill the Queen Gorgon which is a very heavily mutated version of the Gorgon. Oh yeah, Carla was supposed to turn into Carly, which was a mixture of Goliath, Kraken and Wraith altogether. And she was going to be a playable monster. But you know, publishing ruined yet another game, so we won't get to see that. I don't know who's left. So you run either way. There's the out. I think he's the last one. Just casually took a mine to my back, I can do it because I'm the boulder. It's not over, okay. Oh. Just insta healed that. It's not the greatest of use, but you know, it's a bot. There we go. I'm gonna grab this. The rate in there as well, by the way. In case you wonder what that noise was. Excuse me. went over there as well. But Daisy, who we have to kill in this version because she does count as a hunter. So go up there. She is just caught wind of your jetpack. It's not the best idea. Get rid of that teleporter. There it is. Decent round. Has to be a little bit cautious, obviously, because Kyla exists, so... Armour is never true safety whenever she's in the, uh... ...match. <clears throat> Let's give the boys some still a bit sick, but, you know, we're keeping the daily train going. <laughs> um, but yeah. I hope you enjoy as always, and I'll hopefully see you for the next one. You may have noticed something that, you know, I'm just going to sprinkle this on the end because I want to address it on the new Evolve video as well because I might do it on the next one that goes out at the end as well for this one. Uh, if you've noticed, I am playing TCM on the, um, the channel at the moment. And I wanted to just give you the reason for this because, you know, I've, I've said some pretty, like, scathing shit about it and I want, to, I want you all to be aware that when I said those things, they do actually still hold true. And whilst I am playing this game on the channel, and I do appear like I'm enjoying it, and I do myself think I'm enjoying it, I know what's coming, and I know the game's going to die, and it's not going to be playable in a couple of months. Yeah. So basically what I'm doing at the moment is I'm riding it out. But what I will say, ladies and gentlemen, is 
based on what I have said in the past when I say if I see things that do change my opinion, I will change my opinion of them. You know, if I've got grounds to believe that things aren't as the status quo tells me they are, then I will make my own opinions kind of thing. And I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that TCM at the moment, it's not as bad as the internet is fucking making it out to be, based on what I've played of it. There's actually a playable game there, as far as I'm concerned. And, you know, I didn't, this is why I'm bringing this up, because I didn't think, you know, after the, the past couple of weeks of what I've been saying and all that kind of thing, that I'd really be in a state of saying this, to be honest. Um, but all my me, all me usual complaints about the game do still hold true as I'm playing it. You know, I, I don't like the, I don't necessarily like the art style where it's all, you know, over corporatized and all this bollocks and, you know, I don't, I don't, yeah, all of that still holds true, basically, is what I'm saying. But, at the same time, now that I've seen it and I've, I've actually played it for myself, other than, you know, the, the, it's like nine months ago, I think it was, I played it on the channel when it was first, when it first came out, you know, back when we were playing it, before everything kicked off and went fucking stupid. Um, now that I've gone back and I've had a look at it, things are not actually as bad as I actually perceived them to be. And, you know, again, I'm repeating myself here when I say this, that if, you know, things change my opinion like that, or things prove to me personally, like, in my own brain, I will change my opinions on it. But I'm just saying at the same time that my opinions haven't... My more gripey personal opinions haven't changed about it. So, you know, it, it's still... It's still there, you know, that them sort of feelings that I have towards them sort of games. Um, not just TCM, just that kind of corporate fucking acing shit. Um, it's why I refunded the Killer Clowns after two hours uh, in Steam's refund policy, because I know I'm not going to get anything out of that game. It's it's just shit, quite honestly. But anyway, um, I just want to mention that on the end, because obviously it's a bit weird, you know, to say the shit I've been saying about it, and then it shows up on the channel. Um, Part of it, me playing TCM at the moment though as well, is that I'm getting a bit bored of uh, DVD again. Um, again, throwing this one out there as well, um, it's it kind of shows, you know, in in terms of um, I'm trying to I'm trying to word this with flu brain. You'll have to bear with me. Here. Um, I don't edit my my videos most of the time, so. Um, DVD has not held me for the past eight years like Evolve has, is what I'm trying to say. And, you know, I've had to switch to a game that, I, you know, I was putting down and I was saying was shit because I'm bored of DVD, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and what if we didn't, we've been playing it for like, what, a few months, maybe, at this point, since we was doing other videos on other games. I've been playing this for like three years straight against bots and I'm still not bored. Just throwing that out there. Um, but yeah, it's weird scramble because I've got flu brain. So, you know, it's I can't fucking think straight at the moment. So ranting in this particular state is not the greatest of ideas, but there you go. You can probably try and piece that shit together like a 1,000 piece jigsaw puzzle and, you know, take from it what you can. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I just wanted to get it out there and in the air, you know, explain yourself because I always will in these instances. Um... Well, yeah, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll hopefully see you for the next one. Bye.